So I've been thinking lately, uh, I'm thinking all the time, but lately I've been thinking about, uh, um, I don't want to say mental health, but um, there's norms and then there's, you know, outer, outer, outer reaches of the norms. Okay, uh, let me go back to an old, old movie. Uh, one of those, um, what's that movie with, uh, was it, uh, is it Cuba Goody Jr. in it? And, uh, well, but Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro and I forgot this female actress's name. Anyway, she has a, she has a, a son that's mentally challenged, I'll be politically correct. And uh, so she, she's a waiter in a diner. She, you know, every, you know, she's a waiter in a diner. Anyway, uh, um, um, what's the name? Uh, Robert De Niro has some mental health uh, problems, and he goes to his diner all the time. He's got these, you know, can't step on the lines, that kind of, that kind of stuff. And uh, so she, she, he says something about her son, whose son's about six or whatever it is. Um, and uh, she says, to him, I don't think the son has mental health problems. I forget what happens with that. Anyway, she says he says something about her son, and she says she stops everything and said, "Don't you ever, basically, talk about my son." Now him, with, him with all his mental health issues, whatever have you, he just stopped, took that in, and he just won't bother the son. I, uh, as I grew up, I grew up in a situation where a lot of mental health issues were around me, and uh, even the Willowbrook, uh, my twin sisters were, well, I had twin sisters that were at Willowbrook doing that whole, you know, problems, Willowbrook, Staten Island. Um, Asylum, uh, you know, Robert Kennedy got in there and they just had to shut it down because there's a lot of abuses to the patients, whatever my sisters were optimal for that, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I've been around a lot of mental health challenges most of my life, actually. You know, it's kind of interesting, it's, especially when you're in, here we go, when you're in the arts, when you're in the theater, believe me, it's all mental health. I'm going to tell you, one of the things about being a, a director in, in theater, what you realize most of the time has a little to do with, okay, yeah, you have to do the script and all the rest of the stuff, but it has to do with communicating with the actors and making them, having them do stuff they normally wouldn't do, blah, 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 blah. I bring all this stuff up just to say, I don't think, unless you, unless you hang out with a lot of mental health cases, which is a lot in, in, in the thing, was like one out of five people have mental health issues or something like that and whatever. Or unless you in theater, when you're dealing with a lot of crazy people, or the arts, you're dealing with like music arts, we use a lot of, and I say crazy, I shouldn't say crazy, I'm sorry, you know, a lot of a lot of folks of different stripes, then you don't get a full picture. You think that everything is whatever the norm is, you know, what that norm is might be a you know some some white guy from 1940s, whatever his mental health was, that's the norm, and that's not that's not necessarily true. Okay, I bring up this says there are three mental health to me, three mental health celebrities, I'm gonna call them celebrities, uh, that are in the news these days. And the funny thing is that we're wallowing with these, we're, we're basically getting down with these mental health people, not treating them as if they're normal, or maybe we don't treat them as normal, but they have mental health issues. And when you try to deal with a mental health issue thing, that means that you have to sort of compromise, go towards that, deal with it, you know? Uh, because you, it's hard for you for, the, for you to bring them towards you, you know. So you, have to go, you understand what I'm trying to say. Three mental health folks: Donald Trump, that's the big one; Roseanne Barr, right, that's the next one; and um, Kanye West. They all have mental health issues. I'm sorry. You can look at their behavior. You can look at their body of work. And it's, it's, it's not that they just had it. It's been there for a while. Now, for, for us to start focusing on, for folks to start focusing on them and what they do and react to their doing, you're just reacting to people with mental health problems. So why do we elevate, you know? In fact, why do we elevate anybody that doesn't have an expertise, and when I say expertise, it doesn't mean you have to have a degree, but expertise in a certain field, you know? I mean, uh, uh, but let, let me leave it with this. Let, let me put it this way. When somebody made them you know, have a space program, NASA and all this go into space, when they first had that program, there was a debate whether the, uh, what, the, the Marine pilots or whatever, the pilot, the Air, not the Air Force, again, Air Force, whatever, the Navy, whatever, should go up in the air. Um, and they also looked about going up into the air. They didn't realize the circumstances of space is similar to the circumstances of deep sea diving. They would have been better to go to folks, you know, that were deep sea divers to go into space rather than people that's going up into planes. I know it sounds kind of strange because it's the same environment, but people don't think about that. You, you, you just, oh, this person has his answer, that, 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 that person has a political sway, blah, 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 and they go with that. 
That's the problem. The, the problem is that not only you have a mental health issue, you have folks in, in, in gatekeeping and in situations where when they make a decision, without, you know, without, well, when, when they make a decision, it goes because they have the power, the blah, 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 blah to do that. This is not the world you want to live in. This world is like, it's, it's weird because now the, 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 the full gate, gatekeepers, you know, the uninformed gatekeepers, the, um, uh, the, uh, the people who are, who, are, who are on the fringes of, of, of thought, you know, everything, they are now the center of attention. Whereas all the other fixed people, they either run away and say, look, I'll let me go do something else and grab something. Da, 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 da. You got it? So that's my little observation for me. T from the Palace is taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.